What's going on guys? Chez Critter. So this video is for the people out there that still believe that the political process in this country has any relevancy whatsoever. Yeah, I get people that say, dude, you gotta vote, man. You know, you gotta vote, you gotta vote. No, no, I don't have to vote, okay? It doesn't matter. And for the people that are, you know, looking for this world without the rule of law, you're living in it right now. Okay, so you see, laws are only for people that follow the law already. Criminally minded people need pay no attention to the law. And you know where a lot of them exist? Right at the top of government. So if you want anarchy in a land without the rule of law, look no further than the government. They're allowed to choose which laws they follow. They're allowed to break the law and make laws for you that you supposedly need to follow. And, and I think that the idea that law in terms of criminality is even applicable is absurd okay if you look at uh, what the founders are talking about they're talking about natural law okay laws that ap apply to people naturally in the world okay um, so I would say like a law that you can't break that nobody can break no politician can no government official you know what it is it's the law of gravity right the laws of physics these are laws that cannot be broken but the laws that they institute you know laws instituted amongst men are all over the place and they're meant to keep you down now this reminds me of uh, i was talking to a buddy of mine about the matrix the movie the matrix and why it had such a big appeal and it's because that is society and people that say hey we need to vote for romney guys because you know he's our guy you are living in a prison you cannot see or taste or touch okay it is a prison for your mind your mind is imprisoned within the realm of, I think the political process will work for me if I just vote right. And that is not the case. No, it has gone so far, I and mean, to the point to where you can't even own property in this country. Okay, and I was talking to Corey about this. Uh, try owning a car, just putting it in your garage. You can't do it. You cannot do it. Um, you know, because you'll have to pay taxes on it eventually. And to take it to the next level, let's, let's take it as uh, absurdly as possible. Let's say you use your talent to build a vehicle. Now you go in your garage and you start putting this vehicle together from the ground up. Uh, you build the axles, the engine, everything. You put it all together and who comes to your door? That's right, it's the government. And the government says, you know what? Even if you're not gonna drive that vehicle, you need to pay us an annual fee. How absurd is that? How have we built a system that's gotten to the point where something that you build with your own hands, you are obligated to give the government money based on the fact that you built that. I mean, it stifles productivity and creativity. And I say, beware of anyone coming to your front door promising to help you. Think, so here I am sitting at home, some guy knocks on my door and says, you know what, I'm, I'm here to help you out. No, you're not. Get the hell off my property. I don't want your help. I want nothing from you. And that's it goes to the point that we pay, okay, and this is the political system, we pay for the privilege of the boot on our neck. We pay the government to tax us. We pay the government to come up with all these ridiculous laws that none of them have to follow that are meant for us, to keep us down. And, and they get to just you know casually ignore them as it goes forward. And, and um, I was recently, I think it was the Oracle, the, the one of the big guys in the Oracle, he bought like a big portion of a Hawaiian island, something like 90% of it. That sounds like the ultimate Galt's gulch to me i would do that in a second if if i had the, the capital and you know what i put people on the shores with guns and anybody that came up on the uss tax you thank you very much i'd send them packing they'd be like you know what i'm here because i'm gonna make your life a little bit better what are you joking and that's all the politicians say mitt romney says well i'm gonna make it a little bit better than barack obama okay but the government's gonna grow so it's, what are we arguing here, guys? What, what, what are we arguing? Are we saying, well, he's going to build the prison a little bit slower than the guy before him. That's what it all comes down to. But just remember, they don't have to follow the rules. And they're going to lie to you about everything. If you take anyone at the government for face value, I, I really, you, you're in the matrix and you have no idea. And you're one of those people that Morpheus was talking about that will defend it to the death, even though it's your own enslavement.